so far in the rigging process we have completed till this thing so we have completed till this layer over here these many layers we have covered so far and as we cover each layer we have learned so many things and now what we are doing to remember till what part we have completed we are placing a green color on the final layer of the car so that could be achieved by just double clicking on the layer and just selecting the color and pressing the save button so now let's start with the doors of this car so first of all we will make these doors hidden uh, go off the visibility and then these new doors come into visibility so for that we have created this controller over here and uh, we have referenced this layer so that we can't select it that could be done by just making the layer turn into the R that is the reference option and in the doors layer <coughs> we have combined the corresponding objects in the door layer so let's begin with it first we'll open the set driven key menu and that would be from spacebar animate set driven key and set now we'll take this circle as a driver driver object this object over here as the driven object and we'll first of all key the scaling of this this part of the door in the x-axis so we'll select the x-axis over here the transit G of the controller so we'll select the transit G of the controller over here and then we'll press R we'll first of all key this value of the uh, object uh, at the zero position of the controller and we'll press key then we'll select the controller we'll move it forwards till maybe like this much and select the object press R move it outwards not very much just a little bit maybe till this much and then we'll press key now we'll take this object the circle back to its zero position we'll select this object we'll go to edit mesh cut faces tool we'll place the cut faces tool above it and so and to precisely place the cut faces tool above the object as you can see the beneath object the, the second object over here could be maybe like if we place it over here uh, it could even go wrong and it could cut some part of the beneath object that would create some problem afterwards so what we can do is well first of all we press ctrl z we'll go to the side view of the car and we'll press the cut faces tool over here so that it comes just above the car level or oh, sorry the uh, above the object level and we'll press w now we'll press ctrl a we'll go to the poly cut tool we we'll select the delete faces option and as you can see at the first position the object has been has gone off the visibility so to correct it we'll, uh, we'll select the tool first of all we'll make it as a driven we'll press ctrl a and since uh, the object will come into visibility by choosing the y axis we'll select the y axis we'll make the object visible at first then we'll select the y axis over here and we'll key it then we'll move the controller we'll go to the perspective view by space bar perspective view 5 for making it in the shaded mode then we'll take the controller forwards just till the place where the object goes object scaling value takes its final position till maybe like this much now then select the polycut tool select the y axis <coughs> make the object go off the visibility like this and press key and as you can see the polycut tool sometimes creates some problems like this so what we can do is we'll select this object make it as the driven move the controller just a little bit backwards 
and we tell okay uh, it is moving very fast and we tell this part and we key its visibility this part's visibility and we press key and we'll move the controller to its final position tell this much and we'll key the visibility to go zero when it reaches to this part of the controller key now we'll move to the second part how to do this one we'll repeat the same process we'll make it as a driven object we'll first of all key the scaling of the x-axis we'll key it at the zero position till this much key we'll move the controller forwards so now we'll copy the initial value of the controller first of all control c then we'll move the controller forwards to maybe like this much position and then select the object press r take the control the object outside outwards and then press key again now to go back to uh, the controller's previous value we'll select the controller we'll put the control v value over here press enter and it goes back to the previous position and now to make the this part go vanish we'll select the part we'll select the part we'll go to edit mesh cut faces tool we'll go to the side view we'll put the cut faces tool above it press w press control a plus delete faces then select the part make it as the driven part press control a go to the perspective view and uh, select the y make the part visible at first select the y make it key then move the controller to its final position and as i i have seen uh, it was my minus 0 0.315 so this is the final position of the controller where the object will go off the visibility so we'll select the polycut and make the object go off the visibility like this and we'll key it again and we'll take this object slightly backwards till maybe like this much and we'll select this uh, the handle of the doors so now we'll first of all we'll make it make both the handles a uh, combined object we'll select these two shift right click combine is to delete center pivot make it as a driven object we'll key key the visibility we'll keep the visibility one at this point of the controller we'll press key we'll move the controller forwards and we'll make their visibility go to zero and key so this is what we have achieved so now we'll make these parts come into visibility sorry make the new parts come into visibility the new door layer so we'll make the old layer as reference objects so that we can't be able to select them sorry this this object has gone off the layer because we made uh, use of the combined command so we'll select this part we'll put that in the old layer now we'll enable the new layer and we'll repeat the same process as we have done with the previous objects, we we'll select the object, we will first of all key the scaling of this object like this, scale x and in this time we will take the objects inside at the zero position, so first of all we will take, we will check till what point we want this object to be invisible so maybe till this much point we want it to be invisible so we'll select this object we'll key the scaling of this object we'll press key over here then we'll move the object move the sorry move the controller maybe till this much and uh, move the scaling of this object to its final value that will be 1 we will press key now we will take the controller backwards 
and at this point of controller we want the object to be invisible so for that we'll select the object we'll go to edit mesh cut faces tool we'll press sorry space side view we'll put the cut faces tool above the object press w press ctrl a plus we'll go to perspective view we'll press delete faces we'll select the object make it as the driven object go to the cut plane y axis press ctrl a then we'll put a key over here so the first position of the controller will have zero visibility of this object then at the final position that would be somewhere around over here we want the visibility of the this part come to one so we'll select the polycut we'll cut plane y and make the part come into visibility like this and we'll press key again. then we'll select the second part we'll make it as a driven object repeat the same process as R take the spacing inside this time uh, we'll press W again so this time we'll key the, uh, we have to key the X axis so we will first make it as a driven object select the scaling Z and we'll make a key over here and this time we'll note this value that would be minus 0 0.282 so for that we'll select this and we'll press ctrl C and copy this value then we'll move the controller for furthermore and select the object press the one value for making it take its final position and we'll press key again now we'll see the controller's final value that would be minus 0 0.426 and we'll press Ctrl V over here to take it at the first position. Now we'll select the object. We'll go to Edit Mesh, Cut Faces Tool, Side View. Above the object, press W, press Ctrl A, press Delete Faces. Select the Cut Faces Tool and go to make it as a driven object. Press Perspective View by pressing Space Bar. Then uh, We'll press Ctrl A and right now we want it hidden so we'll key the Y axis in just the way it is looking right now and we'll press key and we'll select the controller <coughs> we'll take it to the final position that was minus 0 0.426 we'll press enter we'll select the polycut center wire We'll make the object come into visibility like this and we'll press key. So, so far what we have is this, these objects go outside and they go off, off the visibility like this. And after this, we'll come to this layer that is the old side mirrors layer over here so these two layers have been these two objects have been combined earlier so till the point where the old layers this part is visible like till this much like over here we keep these old side mirrors visible so after that we want it to go off the visibility just as with this part so we'll select this part we'll go to edit mesh cut faces tool <coughs> and go to side view place a cut faces tool below it press w press ctrl a delete faces select make it as a driven object press ctrl a again then uh, center wire key go to perspective view and move the controller forwards like this and make this, this part go off the visibility for that I will select the polycut make the part go off the visibility like this key it and then till this part the new layer side mirrors 
that are these will be hidden so for that we'll select this layer go to edit mesh cut faces tool side view put sorry control z put the cut faces tool below the side mirrors press w press control a delete faces select make them as the driven object press control a go to the perspective view we want them to be hidden right now so we'll make them hidden like this select the y axis key move the controller till this much select the poly cut face tool and press make them come into visibility and press key again so this is what is happening right now and with this layer we will now move to this layer that is the old window layer so for simplicity we have combined all these layers <coughs> so just as this above part of the doors go off the visibility the old layer like this till this much we'll keep the visibility of this uh, windows layer on so for that we'll select them we'll go to edit mesh cut faces tool we'll go to the side view we'll press the cut faces tool below the layer press w press control a make them delete faces select make them as a driven object press control a again go to the perspective view and select the center y make it as key move the controller forwards till this part till this much and make this layer go off the visibility so for that we'll select the polycut by make it go off the visibility like this key again then <coughs> we'll move to the new layer that would be hidden till this much part so we'll select it We'll go to edit mesh, cut faces tool, we'll press space, sorry, space bar, side view, put the cut faces tool somewhat over here, press W, press control A, delete faces, select, press control A again, make it as the driven object, select the Y axis, make this part invisible right now, like this, then key it. Then move the controller forwards like this till this much. Select the cars window layer and uh, make it as key like this. Go to the perspective view and press key again. So, what we have with this controller is all this part of the car goes off and on of the visibility by using this controller save the file